friends in this video we will make our first step into javascript programming before i start let me say a few words about uh, the nature of javascript javascript is a client side scripting language and when we have a javascript we can uh, make uh, calculations uh, and uh, create a, a, or produce um, an html document to be loaded in browser but this html uh, code that will be loaded in the browser uh, is producing dynamically that's uh, why especially we are especially using javascript programming and since it is client side scripting uh, when we have javascript this uh, javascript code runs on the client's computer so it uses the client's uh, sources okay and uh, um, after it uses the resources of uh, client, uh, it produces uh, the HTML uh, at that moment and let the browser uh, to load uh, the HTML. Okay, uh, let me uh, start with a very simple uh, task. Now I want to display a message on the screen. We have uh, two options here. I will use our traditional way so I will say this is the heading one and I will say welcome CMP plus okay and here when I save and refresh the browser you will see the message okay this is HTML uh, pure HTML so it's here so browser loaded it and displayed the message in heading one okay but now uh, I will do the same by using JavaScript. Okay, as I said to you, JavaScript makes calculations or uh, doesn't make calculations, but produce HTML code when it executed by the browser. Okay, so here I'm deleting this part and coming to head part, and in the head part, let me start my script. Type is text javascript and i write my javascript code here okay what i'm saying i want to uh, as i did uh, a few seconds ago uh, i'm going to uh, create um, html line uh, this line that displays welcome cmp class okay i will uh, produce the html uh, code for that so here I will use document, document, write line, and in parentheses I write my HTML code. Okay, and this is script. So when I save it and refresh it on the browser, browser will execute the script, and this uh, script will produce this HTML code then browser will use this HTML code and display this message okay now I saved it and let me refresh my page so when I refresh you see nothing is changed because script is produced an HTML page with this uh, HTML code so the page will display welcome CMP class with heading 1 but if you change this heading 1 for example to heading 2 here so we need to do that here as well uh, save the project and you see okay the other thing is um, here I'm using right line right line means write the HTML code and move to the next line it's also possible to say write so it writes uh, the HTML code and it continues so here here we can do this for example I can divide this HTML uh, code into two parts so here I will say document write CMP class 2 so what happens it will display it will write this part and without moving to the next line it will display it will write this uh, part okay so these two will be a single line so let me save it 
and refresh it so nothing is changed so it's working so what is the meaning of that this one I mean this script uh, produce the HTML like this okay this is not like this but sorry okay it's doing this okay so this is what write is doing okay so uh, sorry what white is doing is this sorry um, let me save it and refresh it okay so here let me put a comment here so when i put a comment the script will not execute these codes so uh, let me save it and refresh it so this is produced by this code this code instead of writing this code okay instead of writing this code if you say this it's the same exactly the same okay if you put right line here so what happens this code is the same with this one let me show you okay okay when I say this in script it will produce me this so after displaying h2 welcome it will move to the next line this is the idea of right line okay so here i just try to explain you the difference between right line and right but for the uh, for both conditions even if you write this or this um, so it will produce the same content okay on the page okay now the next is uh, next is it's also possible uh, to you know uh, use a plus in uh, when we are writing uh, when, when we are saying when we are using document write or document write line so here let me divide this string into two pieces. so here I can say plus this so this plus will be used to concatenate two strings I saved it and refresh it so you see the output is not changed let me put a space here save it and refresh it so we can use a plus operator to concatenate two strings and then let me show you how uh, we are declaring a variable in javascript here uh, i'm declaring a variable so let's say that uh, this um, sorry this is variable value one okay and v1 is equal to 10 and then uh, i will display this value mm, the let me create a paragraph the value is what i need plus operator so here i will say v1 plus and then i will say with the value is 10 uh, and is given in the code okay, and i am closing the paragraph okay so here i declare the variable I assign the value to this variable and I used variable um, in my document right line so I produced an HTML code by using this uh, variable okay so we have a dynamic content here actually um, because I am assigning a value during the script execution okay so let's save it and refresh it the value is 10 and is given in the code okay okay the other thing is if i want to take this value from the user what we can do for example let's say that we have variable v1 and we are saying value is equal to window dot uh, prompt 
uh, enter the value and then user will enter the value and this value will be assigned to v1 okay and this v1 will be used here and it will be displayed dynamic content okay i saved it and let's refresh it so it asks us what is the value i said 100 and okay so the 100 is displayed here okay uh, okay this is actually our first step uh, into the javascript and the final thing uh, that i want to talk in this uh, video is um, you know sometimes you may need to make some operations on the inputs so you need to be careful when we are using window prompt and get uh, an input from the user it will be string so for example if we want to find variable result and result is equal to for example 55 plus v1 and then we will display result the result is result so what will happen here when i say it okay by getting by using v1 directly in the uh, operation v1 uh, is string and it is uh, when we have window prompt uh, whatever user types it will be string so if we use string in document right line it's not problem because plus here is for concatenation string concatenation but when you use a string in uh, in a statement uh, which have which which is doing uh, operation like this addition okay so this uh, operator here is uh, addition so we'll have addition operation and when we have it we are trying to uh, add an integer value with a string so what happens let's see it first i saved it and i refreshed it so i said 10 i said okay and you see 55 and 10 is displayed so when we have string in for the addition operation uh, it will not uh, the system will not you know uh, make addition uh, the system will use plus as string concatenation so it converts 55 to string and these 55 and the value of v1 will be concatenated as string so that's why we have 55 and 10 so if we want to make uh, addition here so we need to um, uh, here we need to parse integer uh, we need to use parse uh, integer function to convert this string into integer so i will say parse int v1 so when we have it this uh, string will be converted to integer so we'll have integer here and we'll have integer here so this uh, uh, plus will be used for addition operation i saved it and refreshed it so i said 10 again and okay so as you see 55 plus 10 is equal to 65 and it will be displayed as 65 okay friends uh hope it's okay take care of yourself have a nice day